Okay, great. Let's start. My name is Stefanie van Boerda. I am a dancer and a therapist for Gestalt. My name is Eljan. I'm the CEO of Tanz der Kulturen, which is an association you're going to keep in mind. Hey, my name is Miriam. I come from Barcelona. I'm based now in Hamburg and currently I'm working here with Stefanie van Boerda, with the director of Tanz of Cultures, assisting her and also doing artistic uh, management and all of our tasks as dancing and supervision with projects. My first uh, training was in West African dance traditions from the Mandinka and the Yoruba. I studied them in Paris, in Dakar, Salvador de Bahia, and Havana and Cuba. So I, I was really in the capitals of African dance traditions. And, uh, and with my and, and myself development, I uh, figured out that the dance has really a strong empowerment on my personality. That's why I decided to make a training in the Gestalt therapy to understand more what it needs that the dance experience can be a healing experience. And from this, I made my master thesis and I uh, create the scientific foundation of the virtual dance pedagogy. What today I'm offering in Hamburg and in whole Europe, in Brazil also, and in Senegal also. It was an invitation for one workshop of Stephanie. Yeah, and then spontaneously I went there and I was uh, turned upside down and after dancing the whole day I wanted to know who is Tanz der Kultur, who is Stephanie, what's the work they are doing. And I went to an African festival called Alafia a few years ago, actually a long time ago, I don't even remember, I think 2012 or something. And um, suddenly from behind somebody passed by and put a card in my pocket and that was Stephanie Bangura. Hmm. And at that time, funny enough, I was looking for somebody to teach me how to do the African dance. So that was a gift from heaven. And I googled her and I thought she was a wonderful woman and I think she still is. I love Stephanie. So that's how it all started. Yeah, I, she invited me for the performance last year in October. And I, I was like, uh, when she was like telling about all that, I was already sure I'm definitely gonna come to the performance. And then from there on, it just like developed kind of like naturally. There is some kind of a, a assimilation of music and dance, crowd and artist all together coming in creating and vibing, that's pretty amazing. But it was more an invitation, um, like here and now with the people who do it, um, come together and do a dance ritual and that was like super nice. I think because dance is the language of the body, so when you listen and you share, you're not just doing so with your words and your what you hear but you're doing it with your whole body and you're opening up so much more of yourself to other people and what you can share and receive and a new way to connect. We create a ritual means, we create situations where each dancer dance on his own and we are witnessing it, confirming it and celebrating it. In Tanz der Kulturen when you are in the workshop and you have a rope sharing circle and everyone is listening. I think in this kind of circles there is a great power because you are in the moment you are sharing something in the, in the space with a lot of people there is a lot of um, also opportunity for you to let things out and also to manifest things. And as somebody once said you're only happy when you share or happiness is real when it's shared and that's something that is really close to our heart. So we don't only invite people to be part of our team, we also share everything that we work on with society and try to bring it, try to bring it on a new level. I'm very proud that we get this acknowledgement and this certificate from different um, association so that all our applicants can um, ask, apply for a scholarship. And we have 
scholarship 100%, we have scholarship 50%, we have exchange that people can work in our association and then participate in the dance workshop in an exchange. So really we have so many different uh, modalities to participate in our trainings that it's really possible for everybody to participate. In fact, there are a lot of special cases that we contemplate and then we just decide to, to open the, the arms to, to get them in. I think it's acceptance and respect for each one and each way of uh, thinking and of feeling too. And love. <laughs> every, time I, every time I come here I feel love everywhere. That's really good. There's a, in general a very warm-hearted and welcoming atmosphere which makes it very um, unique and special. Through connecting the dance with emotions, all cultures dance at the same moment, at the same time, and uh, building this special ritual every time. Continuously evaluating each other, having the focus on the things that are working good, because we know where we have our attention, the energy is arising. As far as I know, we are the only one who work with Gestalt therapy inside the team and also outside. And that we have our base in animistic tradition, and that we translate them in the contemporary way. The space that is created opens up to see everybody in their beauty. And that is different. It's not um, something where you have, okay, this is the program, this is going to go through, and somebody is in the middle of something, and now we have to pull, to take the clock and do the next step. It's always staying in the flow and going in the process. Dancing to live music and learning everything that Stephanie Bangua has learned over decades is something those so special that you don't see everywhere. And that is something that is really unique and that makes Tanz der Kultur unique. It's very welcoming atmosphere for everybody, very different people, different age, different background, different physical body, so um, different ability to approach uh, the dance, but um, there was no border or you know there was no fence or something it was like a low level easy going into the work with everybody